strike southwest Atlanta after three children were shot overnight. Police say two of those kids have died. This all happened just after midnight on Sparks Street. And good day's Mark Teichner joins us live from Grady Memorial Hospital where the survivor is being treated. Mark. That's right, uh, 12 years old only, uh, last check in stable condition. Unfortunately, these two other boys did not make it. They have been described as being 13. These things are tragic, but when we have juveniles, it makes it more so. Three children are shot, two are dead, the other rushed to the hospital. The gunfire rang out around 12.40 Tuesday morning at an apartment complex located on southwest Atlanta's Spark Street. Two 13-year-olds and one 12-year-old. One of the 13-year-olds was pronounced deceased on scene. The other two were transported. Sadly, the other 13-year-old died at the hospital. The 12-year-old, at last check, was in stable condition. Police have no motive or suspect description, telling us they aren't sure if the gunman fled on foot or in a vehicle. Coming through video and doing a canvas and speaking to witnesses. My cousin, real smart, real funny. He didn't do nothing to nobody. Desiree Barber's cousin died in the shooting. Her mom said it it was okay for us to talk to her about him. I love to ride bikes and be outside, bike riders, be outside, ride bikes all around the neighborhood and stuff like that. She says her cousin liked to play basketball, was about to go into the eighth grade at Sylvan Hills Middle School, and today would have been his 14th birthday. He in a better place, he don't have to suffer so still waiting to get an update from police as far as the latest information on the investigation. If we do get something from them, we'll let you know. By the way. Reporting live from Grady Memorial Hospital in downtown, I'm Mark Teichner for Good Day. Just hate to hear about young people dying, especially in this way, Mark. Thank you.